it's great to be here with you today. Uh, I was wondering if you could start out just telling us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Well, so thank you so much for the question, Lisa. So my name is Bahana Hydrogen. I'm uh, originally from Congo. I'm 25 years old. I'm currently living in Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya. Okay, and how long have you been there? I've been uh, in Kenya, I think, for the past five years now. Five years, okay. And uh, what was your, your level of education, your schooling, before um, getting involved with Step Up One? Well, so before I joined Step Up One, uh, you know, um, I was doing some uh, IT, you know, related stuff. Uh, I completed my secondary education back in my home country. And uh, when I uh, got into Kakuma, I furthered my studies through, you know, uh, personal trainings, uh, I join, uh, you know, a private institution uh, to learn some IT related, you know, uh, skills. And uh, after that, I also enrolled into, uh, you know, uh, computer science degree that I'm uh, at the moment doing online. Oh, wonderful. And would you like to tell us a little bit more about, um, you know, your story and, you know, how you ended up in Kukuma and what it's like there, living there? Well, so like, like I said, I came in the camp back in 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is following the circumstances and the hard situation that I was forced to live in my home country, which mm -hmm. I could not bear. So they forced me to leave my country to seek refuge here in the camp in Kukuma. But when I reach here, you know, as a young people, you know, when you are in your home country, you have dreams, you have ambitions, you have goals that you want to reach, uh, you know, but, um, you know, situations and uh, circumstances that, uh, you know, appear, they, they don't allow you to pursue your dreams and achieve them. So I was forced to leave my country and uh, seek refuge in the camp. Uh, you know, life was not that uh, easy uh, when I get into the camp as I expected uh, earlier. Because when I was coming, uh, you know, I knew, you know, people would tell you on the way to Kakuma, when you get there, you'll have access to education, you'll have access to, you know, you'll work, you know, you you live like any other human being on earth, but which came to be a little bit different from what uh, I experienced in the camp. So it, it it's not... Uh, it wasn't easy, and even up to now, uh, it's not easy for many young people like myself in the camp. You really have to do a lot for you to survive. So it's it's a situation of uh, you know, it's it's a life of uh, you know vulnerability. We live a vulnerable life. You know, everybody thinks that uh, you know we are vulnerable, and there is nothing we can do about our life, about our future, and our destiny. I see. And how did you feel about your options before Step Up One uh, versus now? Well, there, there were quite limited options. You know, when it comes to life as a young people, like I said earlier, you know, you, you don't know about your tomorrow. You know, you go to school uh, because there are those few who are privileged to attend, you know, uh, learning institutions or go to university or, you know, but they, they finish their, their, their studies, but come back again in the camp. They are not allowed to work. They, they, you know, you don't, you are limited in terms of opportunities. There's nothing you can do at all. So even those who go to university and those who don't go to university, you find yourself at the same level. So there's nothing much, you know, you can do. You have limited options. You have, you know, so like, you're just there. You don't know about what is going to happen tomorrow. You are not exposed to the outside world. You are not exposed to opportunities. So, you know, you're just like, it's kind of life pause. You know, you, you are waiting for, you know, what other folks will decide for you, you know. So it's kind of crazy. And um, how was it that you became involved with Step Up That One? Well, so like I said, I was much involved in, um, you know, IT uh, supporting teachers and learners on uh, how to use technology, integrating technology in education. And uh, apart from that, I'm also a young leader in Kakuma Refugee Camp. I'm uh, heading and leading a community-based organization, which primarily focus on uh, education, uh, mentorship, and, uh, you know, uh, helping young people to become self-sufficient you know, and uh, realize um, their worth. So 
you know, through that, uh, I think I got to know step up through uh, UNSCR. They, you know, reached out to me and uh, they told me about this uh, step up idea, which initially, you know, I, I mean, I was like, wow, what is this thing of social media I'm being told about? So I said, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm um, familiar with technology. Let me give it a try. But before that, I knew, you know, social media existed, but I, I was kind of like, am I, are they going to teach me again how to use Facebook, something I already know? Or, mm -hmm. I mean, what is the value that's, uh, you know, what's the difference that I'm going to get from this? So, you know, initially, uh, you know, it was like, okay, let me go for it. But, uh, you know, because, you know, before Step Up, we all knew about social media in the camp. But uh, we, we, we didn't know actually what was the power of it, how could it change our lives and, uh, you know, uh, impact uh, our life here in the camp. Wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit about um, the training that you went through with Step Up One and, and your overall experience? Well, uh, so it's been, uh, I think, around, uh, you know, almost two years now. Uh, I've been uh, trained, risked, uh, you know, uh, uh, through Step Up. Uh, there's a lot that I've actually gained, you know, uh, from the basic foundation on social media marketing. I learned cutting edge, you know, tools, to, I mean, high tech tools in the social media industry that, uh, I mean, I, something that we never thought about that uh, one day of land but uh, you know through step up i've actually gained a lot you know uh, i think when i look at myself uh, i always feel like you know um, there's no much i don't see any difference between myself and any other professional out there in europe or america because actually it's just the same tools you know and sometimes i find myself more advanced you know uh, than other guys outside there you know uh, despite their location, the privileges they have and all these things. So I've learned quite a lot of skills, you know, not only social media marketing, uh, but also they are also, I mean, amazing, you know, uh, life skills, you know, uh, soft skills that you learn like networking, time management, you know, prioritization, how to handle your clients, how to communicate with your clients, how, I mean, uh, how to manage relationship management and all these things. So there's a lot, a lot of skills. It's, it's, you know, it's a bundle of life skills apart from the professional aspect of it. So there's a lot that you learn as a, a refugee like myself. You feel part of a family that listens to you, you know, that uh, gives you what you deserve. And, uh, you know, you find yourself, uh, you know, being in a situation whereby you, 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 I mean, you feel dignified, you know, like you, you feel, uh, you know, considered as any other normal human being on earth. So it's, it's, it's a lot that, uh, you know, we, we are learning through Step Up. Mm, that's really great. Um, is there any, anything else you want to add about how Step Up Dot One has, has touched your life and changed your life? Yeah, wow. Well, uh, of course, uh, there, there are so many ways Step Up has impacted my life. Uh, and one is, uh, you know, uh, when I first joined Step Up, um, I was, you know, it wasn't that very easy for me even to maintain, you know, uh, my client relationship, you know. But uh, through Step Up, uh, I learned that uh, as a vital and necessary skills, and it has helped me, uh, you know, maintain my client and, um, you know, uh, uh, in terms of uh, when I deliver services, keep communicating with them. And uh, it's also helping me even here in the camp when I, you know, interact with so many people, you know, work with many stakeholders, community leaders, you know, agencies and so many people. That's one skill. That's one thing that uh, Step Up has actually helped me a lot. And also, you know, financially, truth be told, you know, like, uh, uh, I mean, two years ago, if you compare my life two years ago and my life today, I think there are a lot of changes that uh, things have improved, you know, in terms of livelihood. So, and this is something we need to acknowledge, you know, as refugees, because Step Up actually, this is the kind of solution we've been looking for. And um, my call would be, you know, like, you know, to make sure that this opportunity is streamlined to other young people in the camp, because we, you know, this is a game changer, you know, like it's quite different from other programming, other programs that uh, refugees are benefiting from in, in, in the camp context. But uh, Step Up is actually, you know, very innovative, it's unique, and uh, it has real, you know, result. 
So you are in on needs and, uh, you know, you see actually, apart from learning, you also gain, you know, it also changed your life. It also impacts directly your family and your community because this money you get here, you know, it goes direct to the local economy. You know, it impacts the, lo the local community. It changes your life and change the life of the people you are living with. So mm -hmm. I think this is something very important that I can say, you know, uh, it's uh, not only important, but it's very huge impact for me. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, why do you think it's important that more people in refugee camps are able to become Step Up Dot One graduates? Well, um, I think from the um, livelihood perspective of it, and uh, you know, uh, access to opportunities, uh, you know, Kakuma refugee camps, especially particularly Kakuma refugee camp, uh, refugees are not allowed to to work, and um, they are exposed to limited options, limited opportunities to market opportunities, and all these things. So it's very very important that we all have to to other young people out there who would also benefit from this initiative. Yeah, because, you know, at the end of the day, we, we are touching people's life, their families behind, their communities, their, you know, the whole camp, you know, the whole refugee communities. And uh, we are building role models, you know, like, like one, two, three people, when they learn from my story, uh, we step up, they get inspired, you know, they get inspired, they feel like, wow, so we can do other things because when I see, when I share with my family members, when I get feedback from my clients, uh, then I'm like, wow, look, there's a CEO that is saying, wow, Bahana has, you know, done a lot of good work for me. Uh, he's bringing value to my business, doing this and this. Then I feel dignified, you know. So it's not that, you know, that vulnerability, but I feel like I can also add value to the society and give back. You know, I can help somebody who is not living in, uh, you know, is not leaving my situation as a refugee, you know, making also big impact on his own or her own business. This is something that uh, I think refugees, uh, you know, all young people should feel, you know, should be proud of themselves and feel like uh, in spite of the situations in which they are currently as refugees, uh, they can still uh, open up to the outside world and make huge impact for themselves and uh, the, the society. Great. And um, what are your hopes for the future? Great. Um, for the future, uh, yeah, it's a very easy and tough question at the same time. So uh, I hope to be, you know, a thought leader, you know, in this uh, industry, in this social media marketing industry and uh, be a role model, you know, for so many. We have uh, millions of refugees, young people out there that need to be inspired, that need to, to be shown the, the, the way, need to be shown the right way. Because, you know, for a very long time, refugees, we've been uh, living, you know, we've been, um, you know, living in this uh, vicious circle whereby we are just consumers of what others are producing. But now we step up, we, we've uh, realized that we can become creators and innovators at the same time. We can make good use of available tools and uh, become, you know, self-sustained and important people for the society. Wonderful. Is there anything else you would like to share with us today about, um, you know, your experience with Step Up Dot One or your story? Um, we'd love to hear that. Well, so thank you so much. Uh, mine is just, just you know, a word of uh, gratitude to Step Up and um, everyone involved in uh, these projects, uh, particularly Anis and the whole team, you know, uh, UNHCR and other stakeholders who are working hard days and nights to make sure that, uh, you know, refugees, uh, you know, are not just seen as, you know, uh, burden to the community, but uh, trying to change the narrative and show the world that uh, these guys are able, we are also able to do some things and uh, we are able to also give back, give forward to our communities. So mine is just to say that, you know, uh, the work that Step Up is doing, it's uh, an amazing work and uh, my pledge is to make sure that uh, this, you know, reaches, uh, um, you know, why not 5 million, 50 million, you know, there are so many young people, so many vulnerable out there. So my prayer is that uh, we all make sure we all thrive and uh, uh, ensure that other young people like myself benefit from this and uh, we will make a very huge impact in, in the society. Great.
Great. Well, thank you so much, Bahana, for your time. It was wonderful speaking with you and um, best of luck to you in the future. Great, thank you so much. Thanks, Lee. Thank, thank you. you.